Hi there everybody and uh, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beer, shall we? And this is what we are drinking and trying today. This is the Wanderer uh, Cryo New England IPA. It comes in at 6% ABV and it's from uh, Aberdeen um, Brewery. Um, yeah, this used to be called Huckster, I think. So if you had Huckster, you've had this one. It's just a rebrand of uh, that uh, product. Let's get it out of the can into a glass. Let's see what we've got this this one, shall we? Now it's called um, Cryo New England IPA because it's made with cryo hops. Um, I suppose a little bit of explanation about hops are hops are basically made of two, two parts. Uh, if only see the hop, and I'll try and get a picture as I'm as I'm doing this. Hops are like little green um, bulbs, um, and they have a big leafy outer part, which is called a brack, uh, sort of called a bract. And then they have a, ooh, that's a little bit of sediment, but that doesn't matter. Um, and then they have a nice inner part, um, uh, lupin, um, lupin glands. I never got that right. Um, it's basically where all the, the, these glands are basically the elements of a, a hop that contains all the uh, essential oils. Like I said, that bract is the, the green uh, green leaf of it. Basically what happens with cryo hops is they cryogenically freeze. They, um, uh, they pour liquid nitrogen over the hops and then they uh, shatter them and that shattering uh, means that all the little, all the nice little glands, uh, the lupinlin glands that contain all the nice bits, um, kind of fall away like sand and that gets sieved, sieved away and it becomes a more uh, purer product. Most hops that people brew with or have brewed with are called T90 pellets and 90, 90 just means 90% so 90% of it is green matter and 10% is the good stuff. Oh, that makes it clearer. Probably not. I've probably explained that really badly, and if I have, then I really apologise. Uh, this cost me four pounds eighty from um, Yorkshire Craft Beers in uh, Castleford. That has poured a hazy pale straw colour. Would we say it's got a small head? Uh, I know I've been talking away, but it poured a relatively small head to start off with. Um, let's get the aroma, shall we? Very juicy. But you'd expect it because it's got those cryo hops in there which are gonna give a lot more aroma, a lot more flavour. So it's juicy, I'm picking out really pineapple, apricots, a bit of lemon. Yeah, a bit of grapefruit. Smells great. Let's get the taste, shall we? Cheers, everybody. There's a term called juice bomb, and that's what we've got here. That is a very juicy IPA. You've got zesty lemon in there, some very zesty lemon, uh, passion fruit, it's got the grapefruit, it's got the pineapple, at the back end it seems to come a little bit milder, mild, mild, a little bit mild as, as it goes through, but overall that's a very zingy, very sharp flavour. It's got a nice piney bitterness as well at the back end, which is which is lovely. Uh, seven hops go into this one, seven different type of hops. They've got Eureka Galaxy, um, Citra's in there as well. 
the Equinot uh, Cryo, which is really the element that gives it that, that citrus burst. It is tasty. I've had a couple of Cryo ones um, in the past, and this is the one that, that's been by far the um, most flavoursome. It was actually recommended uh, by Trevor in uh, Yorkshire Craft Beer, so uh, thank you, Trevor. It was a, a good recommendation. It is very lightly malted. It's crisp, dry, sharp. Like I say, bang on that for a, a good New England IPA. So a little read, anything special in here? About this time we struck to our own town for inspiration, rebrewing Huckster Cryo. Originally a collaboration with uh, Peddler Market. Yeah, I seem to remember that now. Um, this juice bomb of a, a New England IPA has now been brought under our Brewery Emporium banner with Equinor and all those other hops. That's right, I do seem to remember now. So they did brew this, although it says there, but they did brew this in, in collaboration with uh, Peddler Market originally and it went down so well that yeah they started brewing this under their own brand so the Huckster Cryo was the collaboration one and now under Wanderer it's their own branded product barley oats it's got sugar hops and yeast in it and they'll brew in Sheffield I love the artwork on their stuff. It's just so simple and so so lovely to look at is the artwork. So just as a reminder, it's um, on the aroma. We got some predominantly um, pineapple, uh, grapefruit, a little bit of uh, apricot on the taste side on the flavour. Zesty zesty lemon, <coughs> zesty lemon. Again, pineapple, a bit of grapefruit, passion fruit. Really nice. It's it's those cryo hops have made it really sharp and zingy, and ultimately very refreshing. And as you can see, fairly easy drinking. That's a good one. That one. I'm going to score that. Uh, 8 out of 10. That's an 8 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews. Remember, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like the video, share the video, comment if you've had this or a cryo, um, cryo hop beer uh, before. I'd like to hear your experience from it. Until next time, the next review. Cheers, everybody.